Uh, when President Trump took office, uh, he made it clear that he was not going to sell his uh, ownership interest and in family businesses that created conflicts of interest. Uh, that he was going to take advantage of the fact that the president is exempt from the criminal conflict of interest statute. Uh, and he showed no interest in uh, the question of whether he was in violation of the uh, Monuments Clause of the Constitution, which prohibits profits and benefits from foreign governments. Uh, and the Trump empire, the business empire, does a lot of business uh, with foreign governments, uh, obtains financing from uh, the Bank of China, other government-controlled uh, institutions, and does other business with foreign governments. President Trump showed no interest in selling off his interest in the Trump business empire in order to become president. Congress needs to change its attitude. Uh, the approach to ethics, uh, particularly in the past uh, several decades, uh, has been uh, highly partisan. Uh, the uh, appropriateness of uh, conduct in uh, office has been measured by the political party of the person uh, whose conduct is being evaluated. This is a very serious situation. <clears throat> Congress isn't dealing with it. Uh, and uh, I think that a lot of voters are going to conclude that that's because a majority of the members of the House and the Senate are Republicans. I'm a Republican. I've been a Republican for 30 years. I think this is going to be a disaster for the Republican Party in the fall of, um, of uh, 2018. I think we need to um, uh, recommit ourselves to the rule of law. We need to get away from the notion uh, that uh, uh, there are uh, no absolute truths of right and wrong uh, in the law and in morality. Uh, I think for too long we've been operating under a moral relativism uh, where uh, we view uh, right and wrong as a product of power. The uh, vast majority of, uh, of lawyers in this country and certainly of ordinary Americans had no idea who I was. Uh, and uh, really had no idea what the Office of Government Ethics is. Uh, most law students uh, have no idea what the Office of Government Ethics is or didn't until about two years ago. Well, this changed dramatically with President Trump because of his attitude uh, toward ethics, uh, toward the Office of Government Ethics uh, itself, toward the uh, career officials who work in the Office of Government Ethics, uh, toward uh, persons such as myself, who uh, specialize in uh, government ethics. And as, uh, he has uh, had a very, very different attitude in that his has brought ethics uh, issues uh, front and center, as they should be, in the public dialogue. The uh, financial disclosure forms are incomplete. Uh, they do not provide sufficient disclosure when a public office holder, including the President of the United States, has an interest in a privately held company. Uh, you are required to list uh, your ownership interest in the privately held company, but you are not required to list on the financial disclosure form where that company borrows its money uh, or where that company gets revenue. Uh, a, a privately held company in the real estate business owned by the President of the United States could be borrowing uh, hundreds of millions of dollars uh, from Russia or from China or from the Middle East. Uh, we do not know where those privately held companies are borrowing their money. Uh, the financial disclosure form only requires disclosure of what you own and what you personally own. Uh, but many people in the real estate business and many other businesses don't do their borrowing at the personal level. That's exactly why Donald Trump was able to have a series of bankruptcies uh, for his companies. He himself personally never went bankrupt because he didn't guarantee the loans. He didn't borrow the money in his own name. 